Hello everyone, it's David Ruffner again of District and Piedmont Palms and we are just, me and Moses are here reporting live from our District of Columbia office, which is here obviously in the district. We just got back from Bartholi Park. If you're a um, district resident or someone who lives in the area, please check that out. Tons of palm species there. Needle palms. Um, we checked the, what, what did we look at, Moses? Sable palmettos. Um, Moses really liked the Canary Island eight palms, so they were like right there near the capital. Um, I'm just curious to see when they'll put those Canary Island eight palms in. I believe they're nine A, but they look so so beautiful in front of the capital. Um, so we just had we came in from a nice walk, um, but today what our video that we're gonna talk about today are coconuts or the coconut palm, and I just have mine soaking right over here. You guys, these palms are one of the easiest palms to grow. Um, the coconut palm is just because the seed is so big. I, I mean, I kind of knew this, but did you know the actual coconut is a seed? And I have one in this bag right here, and I'm going to show you what to do with it later. But the coconut is just a gigantic seed. And the reason why I wanted to grow the coconuts is because the coconut queen seed, I noticed when I planted it last week when we did our coconut, um, or not our coconut, our queen palm video, our cygris at Roma Zapiana, these were the seeds. And if you notice here, they kind of look like miniature coconut seeds. And actually, um, I've read some articles that you can breed these cygris Roma Zapianas with um, regular coconuts or um the cocos palm i believe that is the latin name for it so i just wanted to show you all really quick you palm fanet fanetics um palm fans or whatever um how to just grow these wonderful trees uh these coconut palm trees here in 7a you're gonna have to you know of course take them inside during that um november december maybe with the cocoa October, November, December, January, February, March, April, and then May, you could bring about today on our glorious Mother's Day. Um, on Mother's Day, that's when District and Piedmont Palms believes all the indoor tropicals go outside because that's when all ifs, ands, or buts are done, um, and that's when you can enjoy them. So let's just talk about the coconut palm and how you can germinate your coconut seeds. So what I have here is, again, that seed heating mat. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your coconuts in just a vat or a um, bucket like I have of warm water. And I put it over my seed heating mat because you want to make those coconuts think that they just got off the beach in Jupiter, Florida. I mean, they just got out of the water in Jupiter, Florida. They moseyed their way through the inlet and they are laying down in just the hot Jupiter sand. And they, We don't want it, them to think that they're in Washington, D.C. Um, what you want to do, and I took just this big white thing, you could take a brick or a rock, you want to make sure that sits over them so all the coconuts can get submerged. So everything could get submerged. And with that seed heating mat, it should be above 75 degrees. So those should, um, that should spark the um, process of the germination with that over, um, with uh, that on it. Um, so you're going to do that for 24 hours. So tomorrow we will take these out and then we're going to transfer them into these 40 gallon containers. So you want to transfer it into your 40 gallon container. Make sure when you put it in your 40 gallon container, you don't want to submerge the whole coconut. So I'll show you what part. And by the way, I learned this from another YouTube video. I forgot his name and I should shout him out in the video. But his method, I believe, I trust him a lot and I believe it should work. You want to do a bowling ball side up. So where you see the three bowling pins, keep that up, up, up. Because you want, that's where the spear is going to shoot out of. The roots are going to come out of the bottom, but the spear is going to come out of the top. Out of those little bowling ball holes. So you want to um, soak that in your bag until you see that spear come out. Um, I've read and I've seen like on a lot of palm tree groups and Twitter, Facebook, um, YouTube, that it takes about 11 days for these to germinate. I would say for me at the latest, latest, I would, you know, love to see something by Thanksgiving. So we'll definitely do a follow up video to see if these coconut palms will germinate. I'm just very excited just to grow them. Now we may not be able to grow 
coconuts here in DC. Well, we may be able to if we put them, you know, in this room. If they chill here with Moses, hey Moses, say hi. If they chill here with Moses for about how many months, Moses? Eight months. Um, they could chill in here, and then you could set them outside right on Mother's Day. Maybe they might produce coconuts. We'll see. This room is hot, though. I keep this room very hot to make these trees think that they're in that Jupiter, in that Homestead, Florida, in that Miami, or even in L.A. County, even though coconuts don't grow there as well. Um, but you want to make them think. Make them think that they're somewhere where they're not. Well, try those coconut palms. Please comment. Please like. Please subscribe. Please let me know um what your experiences with them remember you need your coconut your 40 gallon bag water a bat or a bucket and please order that seed heating mat you need the seed heating mat to or in order to spark that germination all right well in contrada yes and calpia or lugar find pretty anywhere whether it's in the district of columbia or miami they're both just as pretty um, love you all. Make sure you meditate and love each other. And we will see you next week for our next video. Bye from District and Piedmont Palms. Say bye, Moses. Bye. Bye, bye.